Mmm. Nice weight. Real good flame. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rag, my gal. Sunday and kiss my water. Baby, my heart's on fire. Another wave three titans return to Lux bursts forth in the form of Hot Rod with his titan master, Fire Drive. Hot Rod was introduced in the 1986 Transformers movie as a buddy Autobot to Spike's son, Daniel. He was the young, inexperienced nobody that we were all supposed to fall in love with and then be awed and impressed by when he ate the Matrix of Leadership and became Rodimus Prime. The problem was everyone still liked a dead Optimus better than a living Rodimus, and Optimus was later brought back to life by an outpouring of fan protest, thus rendering Hot Rod slash Rodimus's existence in the Transformers mythos a complete waste. But that won't stop Hasbro from bilking the well of nostalgia one more time with a deluxe figure based on that whole sorry business. And thus we now have Hot Rod. The box is standard for Titans Return Deluxes with the artwork on the front and side panels. The figure is shown off prominently inside its plastic bubble. On the back we see the figure profiled in both of its modes along with the diagrams of how to interact the Titan Master figure with the figure itself. More figures are teased off to the sides, and the multilingual bio re- well, I'm, I'm going to ignore the first sentence since they're all the same for all the figures. Fire Drive gives Hot Rod an electrostatic fire blast that disables the systems of enemy targets it hits. Anywho, let us unbox Hot Rod and review him properly. Out of box, Hot Rod comes with this instruction booklet. A collectible trading card with his tech specs. Two accessory guns. And of course with the Titan Master head. Titan Master Fire Drive is a plain gray plastic paint job. The head will rotate 360 degrees as with all Titan Masters. The arms will swing upwards, the hips will swing upwards, and the knees will bend down. To transform Fire Drive into Hot Rod's head, fold him in half, with the legs mashed up against the robot's chest, you have Hot Rod's head. It inserts into this peg on top of the robot and clicks firmly into place. And here is Hot Rod out of box and in his car mode. He seems somehow a little larger than many other Titans Return Deluxe cars, or at least broader. Perhaps it's the Spoiler, it rolls decently on smooth surfaces using four plastic tires and has the now expected opening cockpit for seating the Titan Master figurine. Transform the Titan Master head into a seated robot position and jam this protrusion at the back of the Titan Master robot legs into this notch inside the cockpit. This will hold the Titan Master firmly in place so it won't fall out and allow you to close the cockpit and have fire drive, drive, fire. Hot Rod is colored a deep red with yellow and orange trim in the form of manly masculine flames. The pipes on the side are flat gray and he is topped with a bright yellow spoiler. The silver engine is a nice Generation 1 nod, and the translucent bluish windshield set it all off nicely. The two gun accessories will plug into either side of the car near the front wheel wells. They will also clip together into a double-barreled gun that will plug into these grooves in the engine on the car hood. This is also how you set up the sidecar gimmick for the Titan Master figure. With both guns clipped together, it creates a cubbyhole where Fire Drive can also park it and 
look stupider by driving outside the car instead of in. As with most car transformers, being the car is the gimmick. But it is mostly faithful to its Generation 1 roots. To transform Hot Rod into a robot, first start by unpegging the spoiler section from the top. It will swivel upwards. You may then also swivel it around on this mushroom peg and face it backwards. This will expose the robot thighs. Nudge the pipe sections apart slightly. They plug together like this for the transformation into a car. Swivel the robot legs downwards and flip out the feet. You may then take the rear wheel sections and fold them inwards to form the backs of the robot shins. Pull outward the side sections of the front of the car and angle them downward on these hinges. Turn the car upside down, take the front hood of the car and fold it inwards like this. Then take the entire car hood and fold it downwards. You will see these two pegs here, which plug into these slots here. Finish folding upwards the rear spoiler section. These two tabs will fit into these two grooves here at the back of the windshield. Rotate the waist 180 degrees so that the knee pads are facing forwards along with the robot chest. Flip the robot hands out of the forearm sections, and the robot mode is mostly complete, except for the final step of transforming Fire Drive into Hot Rod's head, and inserting him into the robot's shoulders. And here is Hot Rod as a robot. This deluxe is very reminiscent of the Rodimus Classics figure. The color scheme of red, yellow, and orange with gray and silver highlights seems well in line with previous incarnations of this figure. The pipes on the forearms and the yellow spoiler turned into shoulder wings help to give Hot Rod that classic Generation 1 feel, as well as his sticky up his shoulder pads. The engine embedded in his chest tops off that classic feel. As far as features go, you can have him hold the guns split in half, or clip them together so he can hold them as a double-barreled gun. You can't store the head anywhere in robot mode, but you can sidecar the head into the double-barreled gun, then plug it into the shoulders near the elbow. But how this makes him more effective in battle is still a mystery. Anywho, for articulation, Hot Rod's Titan Master head will rotate 360 degrees, and also waggle a little in its socket. The shoulders will hinge upwards a little. They're also ball socketed for a full range of rotation and splaying. The hands will fold inward as part of the figure's transformation. The waist is on a mushroom peg and will rotate 360 degrees in its socket. Ball socketed hips will rotate and splay, coupled with an upper thigh rotation. The knees will bend about 90 degrees. If you fold out the wheel assembly from the back of the shin, you can get an even greater range with a double-jointed knee, if you can live with the car wheels sticking out like that. The foot tilt is rather weak, and it will tilt forward very slightly, but not backwards. But again, if you rotate out the wheel assembly, you can tilt the feet backwards fully to make him go on tiptoe. All in all, Hot Rod has strong articulation, very comparable with other Titans Return Deluxes, which will allow for excellent playability and cool action poses. For size comparison, here is Titans Return Hot Rod next to Universe Rodimus Prime. Here is Titans Return Hot Rod next to Combiner Wars Legends Rodimus Prime. And here is Titans Return Hot Rod next to Optimus Prime's disembodied head. 
Those who always thought Hot Rod was a cool character will definitely want to pick up this conventional update. It packs all the positive features and gimmicks of a Titan's Return Deluxe, with the added bonus of Generation 1 nostalgia. Negative aspects are few, some hollowness to the forearms, the chest tends to pop loose, and the always laughable sidecar mode. But those are easily overlooked, and Titan's Return Deluxe Hot Rod earns 8 out of 10 deaths. So grab yourself a hot rod today, and try to avoid any double entendres. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, old baby. Tell them all, and tell me I'm your own.